Hello everyone and welcome to Robot Operating System version 2 and Movit Tutorials. In this tutorial we explain how to properly install Movit 2 in ROS2 Humble and how to start with motion planning in RViz. For example, in this video tutorial you will learn how to move your end position or the goal state of your robot to any arbitrary position then you will learn how to plan the path and then you will learn how to visualize the trajectory and over here you can see how the motion is visualized but before I start with explanations I need to mention the following if you are an engineer or a student and you want to improve your robotics, programming, control, machine learning and ROS knowledge and skills, we can help you with that. We provide professional skill development and tutoring services. Also, if you need professional engineering help with your robotics, control, machine learning, computer vision or similar industry problems, we are here to help. We have more than 15 years of industry and research experience. In addition, we have significant research and teaching experience at top universities in Europe and United States. Contact information is provided below this video. But before we start with explanations, here are very important notes that you should keep in mind. Before you start with an installation process, it's very important to make sure that your Linux version is Ubuntu 22.04 and that the ROS2 version is humble. If you have some other ROS version, for example ROS1 or Ubuntu 20.04, this tutorial will not work. Then, we will not blindly follow the installation tutorial posted on Movit 2 website. This is mainly because of the fact that the tutorial provided online will not completely work. Keep in mind that this video is made in July 2024 and maybe after this date the official maintainer of Movit 2 will fix the official tutorials. Instead, we explain how to perform several fixes that will enable you to smoothly install Movie 2 and run an example on an industrial robot in RVIS. In the future, we will also create another tutorial once the official maintainer of Movie 2 applies fixes to the issues with the tutorials. Also in the future, there, there will be a version of Movie 2 for the newest version of ROS2 Jazzy Jalisco and we will create movie tutorials for Jazzy Jalisco. Of course, the difference between this tutorial and the tutorial for Jazzy Jalisco will be minor. Then, the process of installing Movie 2 might take 20 to 30 minutes of build time. Consequently, you have to be patient and you have to follow all the steps and instructions. Otherwise, you will not be able to install Movie 2. Okay, let's start. The first step is to verify that you have the proper Linux distribution. So click on Show Applications, search for Terminal over here, open a terminal, and in this terminal window, type cat etc os release. And you should see this. If you see Ubuntu 22.04, this third number doesn't matter. This means that you have the proper Linux distribution and you can proceed. The next step is to verify that you have the proper ROS2 distribution. Consequently, type this to go to this folder and type this. This folder contains all the ROS2 distributions that are currently installed on my system. Over here, I can see that I have Humble and that I have Iron. That's not a problem. You can install both Humble and Iron on the same computer. Consequently, over here I have Humble. However, I have to still verify a few additional things. The next check is to verify that I can source this file setup.bash located in the Humble folder. So let's try to run this command. And if you don't see any error, that's a good sign. However, the next check is to try to print this environmental variable ROS distro and you should see Humble. This means that Humble is properly installed on your system and you can continue with this tutorial. Otherwise, you need to install Humble and I created a separate video tutorial explaining how to install Humble on a Linux machine. You can close the window. Here is the official page of Movie 2. And over here you can see the installation instructions by clicking on Getting Started. Now, 
I will not blindly follow these installation instructions. I will make several modifications that will actually avoid errors during the installation process. Namely, as of July 2024, there are issues with Movit 2 tutorials. That is, the official tutorial that explains how to use Movit 2 once Movit 2 is installed will not work on Humble. And maybe after July 2024, they will fix this issue. However, I found a way how to fix this and I will explain it in this tutorial. Another modification that we will use over here, instead of running this command that will build the complete system, we will run a modified command that will make sure that the build process is sequentially as executed. This is necessary since if you blindly apply this command, the complete system will crash and the installation process will not be executed. This is because this command will consume most of the computer resources. At least on my computer, the complete installation blocks. And consequently, with the fix that I applied, I will be able to perform the complete installation. Okay, let's start. The first step is to open a terminal window. So click here and search for terminal. And over here, I will resize the terminal such that you can see what I'm typing over here and you can also see the manual that's given over here. Whenever you want to do something in ROS, you need to source the environment. Now, don't simply copy and paste this command. I will copy it and I will modify it. So over here, the modification should be that instead of iron, we are installing the version for Humble. Keep in mind that iron will not be supported after, I think, May 2024. Consequently, you need to go back to Humble. Okay, good. So the next step is to install ROSDAP and the system dependencies. In my case, you will see that everything is already satisfied, as you can see it over here. Next, we need to run this. These are the several co commands that will make sure that ROSDAP is updated and that our system is updated. And just ignore some errors if they appear here, since, since these errors are not critical. Then let's run sudo apt update. This will update and upgrade our packages and complete Linux system. And let's run this. Okay, click on yes. And next. Next, we need to install Colcon system together with ROS2. To do this, we need to execute these commands. You already most likely have Colcon since it comes with, with uh, ROS2. However, still, let's follow this tutorial. And let's update this. Just ignore the errors since most likely you have everything already installed. But let's just respect this tutorial. Next, you need to install VCS tool and you most likely already have it. However, let's install it. Okay, and here are the few critical steps. Over here, do not blindly copy and paste what is written. I need to explain what are the modifications that you need to perform. First of all, we need to create our workspace and source folder. We do it like this, and this is fine. Okay, and here comes the critical step. Over here, we need to download the source code of Movit 2 tutorials. The issue over here is that these tutorials, that is, this main branch over here, will not work for Humble. And consequently, over here, we will have to do one modification. Okay, so this command is standard. We need to go to the source folder when cloning something from GitHub and over here, copy this command, but do not execute it. I need to explain what is the modification over here. Over here, you need to specify that you want to install not the main branch, but instead you want to install the humble branch. So let's learn how to do that. Here is the modification. Over here, instead of downloading and cloning the main branch, you need to specify branch 
with this double dashed line and you need to specify humble and this is very important this is a very important fix that will enable you to successfully run the tutorials okay so let's do this and be patient over here this will take some time okay after this you need to run this command now be patient over here this will take some time next we need to build our call con workspace first of all you need to execute this command and after executing this command you need to go to the workspace folder and in the workspace folder do not immediately execute this command. If you immediately execute this command, there will be an issue. So I will copy it over here and I will explain the modifications. The issue will be that this command will consume the complete computer resources and most likely it will be stuck somewhere in between. Instead, you need to specify this. You need to say that execution should be sequential. In this way, you're not going to use complete resources that is you're going to sequentially compile or better to say build everything and this is actually a crucial fix if you don't do this your computer might crash and you will not be able to build everything so make sure you do this and over here you need to be really patient this will take most likely 20 minutes to build so be patient over here. Okay, it took approximately 20 minutes or even more than 20 minutes to install Movie 2 on my computer. And there's some warnings over here and you can simply ignore these warnings since they're not going to affect everything what I will explain in the sequel. Now, over here, I will diverge from the official tutorial simply because the official tutorial will not work if we want to run an example. Hopefully they will fix that in the, in the future. However, I'm going to present you my fix. The first step whenever you want to run anything from Moveit is actually to source the environment. That is, you need to source this file. And this is very important. Okay, after that, we need to run a demo example. We run the demo example like this. And over here, be careful what you're running. We are typing ROS2 launch movie tutorials, we are running this demo launch file and we are setting the RVIS configuration file, here it is, or you can see it over here. RVIS config, that's precisely what's written over here. So let's run this file. If you try to run the file provided with the official tutorial, you will have an issue since something will not run properly. So let's run this. Okay, so here it is. Next, let's learn how to bring our robot. To bring our robot, you need to click on Add, and over here you need to click on Motion Planning. And after that, you should see your robot over here. Here it is. This is our Panda robot. And now we are ready to go. First of all, you need to make several adjustments. For you, the most important option is this motion planning and over here you will adjust everything but before doing that make sure that the fixed frame is panda link zero this is very important because you can also fix something else however we don't want to do that let's fix panda link zero next expand motion planning and let's go over these options Make sure that robot description topic is here. Then make sure that this thing is active. Monitor planning scene. Then let's expand geometry, scene geometry, nothing. 
don't change anything over here scene robot let's see what happens nothing is here currently interesting just keep it as it is then you have this option planning request and over here as a planning group let's not select hand let's select panda arm okay now we are going to model the motion of panda arm and over here you can immediately see orange color and you will also see a green color so what are these green and orange colors well let's now deselect this one query goal state and you will see the basic robotic description now if you select query start state you'll see green robot description green robot color or the green robot description represents the start state of your robot on the other hand you will also have this one the orange representation of the robot is the goal state of the robot so we have start state and we have the goal state for the time being deselect the query start state and move this green ball somewhere over here this will be the goal state and now you can safely select query start state and then move the start state over here we will model the robot motion starting from here and ending here over here you can change the state colors you can change the goal state color etc let's not play with these things for the time being since this is just an introductory tutorial over here under the planning metrics do not play with these parameters and let's now expand the planned path by clicking over here and let's just keep everything as it is later on we will play with these other parameters okay now you can move again robot wherever you want it to go and let's plan the motion that is let's make the robot to go from here to here to do that you simply need to click here on plan and you can simply click on execute now you will see that immediately robot went to this position right and you didn't see the trajectory there are several approaches to see the trajectory to see the trajectory click on panels and click here on trajectory sliders and now you can slide your trajectory and you can see the initial robot state and you can see the final robot state and you see how the robot moves and you can also play of course you can adjust these parameters how fast this simulation is being played however we are not going to play with these things now here you can deselect robot visual if you don't want to see the trajectory another important thing and important uh, option is to show the robot trail you can simply click here and you will see the robot trail very interesting thing and over here you can adjust the trail step size you can for example have less coarse or less dense trail for example like this now if I move my robot you will see how the trajectory is being described okay now let's again modify our start and initial position so for example let's want let's move the robot to this position you can do plan and now you have execution and you can see how the execution is being performed so you can also play the animation like this so let's practice that move the robot here and let's now deselect that we don't want to show the trajectory so move the robot somewhere here plan execute and you can see very nice animation how the robot moves from one position to another Okay, that's all to for today. I hope that you like this tutorial. If you like the tutorial as I'm making, please press the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks a lot.